Hi, I'm Colleen with Just Paint It. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple bunting or garland, if you will, out of coffee filters. Kind you just grab in the dollar store. And I made these for Valentine's Day. Um, you can make them for anything, for birthday parties, whatever you wanted to do. And to be perfectly honest, I wasn't a big fan of bunting for a long time. I never used them, ever. And then I started watching Downton Abbey. And um, it's kind of in their decor for weddings. And so I thought it, they did just simple white back in, the, back in the day. So I thought, well, what can I do that was simple white? I don't want simple white. So I figured let's just take a little um, coffee filter and spruce it up just a little bit with a little bit of paint. And you can take it wherever you want from there. So let me show you how we do this because it's really really simple okay first of all I'm going to take this bunting down now it's not glued okay because I wanted to show you how to assemble it so it's just a ribbon okay but we'll get to that <clears throat> now all you need really is the ribbon and a coffee filter and um, some paint now I'm going to use wax paper Okay, um, this is a great project for your kids. Um, they're not going to mess this up. So I put the wax paper down so they don't mess anything else up. So I'm just going to tape it on there, okay, um, since this is an easel. Now, the first thing you do is you just take regular water and you're just going to dampen it. Okay, there's no right way, wrong way. Okay, I'm going to do just a section so that you kind of get an idea because. Um, you can do it any color. I am not a huge fan of red and pink, um, particularly Valentine's Day. So I tend to add a little turquoise. Do what do what you like. But I have just a little bit of red paint. Doesn't matter. It's craft paint. Any type of um, water-based paint is going to work. Now I've already moistened the filter with water. Now all I'm going to do is just really kind of get this nice and soppy. Could you use watercolors? Most certainly you could. I just happen to always have acrylic paint. So I'm just going to, um, it's probably not going to show up, I, I didn't think about that, it's probably not going to show up really well on my green background, but you'll see it in a few minutes. So like I said, no rhyme or reason. If you start to get little brush strokes, you can add a little bit more water. Um, you can definitely do more than one color if you choose. The kids love doing more than one color. Like I said, all, it's a watercolor effect, so you're just letting the paint, it's kind of like adult finger painting, okay? Let yourself go crazy. Um, so you would go ahead and finish painting the whole water, um, water coffee filter and how many do you need? How long do you want your bunting? It's up to you. If you're going to do um, the fireplace a little longer, so measure your ribbon first. Give it a little um, bit of a swag so that you know how much. Um, and then make a couple extra. And besides, if you get the kids doing it, you might wind up with more than one bunting. Just saying. Okay. That's the painting. I know. Hard, right? Okay. So now let me show you. I'm going to put my white background up here so you have a little better um, idea what I'm doing. I apologize. I didn't realize the green was going to be so. So here's one that has already dried. And you see how it's the color is um, a lot softer than a regular red would be. So keep that in mind when you choose your colors. That was a bright red I used. And I also used for, excuse me, I'm going to pull the, the turquoise out, show that to you. See how that's turquoise? That is a very deep turquoise, okay? Very deep. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your colors. Now, I lost my tape. Okay, you could certainly fold it over once the paper has dried. You don't have to dry it in, you know, into shape. I just um, lay them down flat and stuck them in front of the heater for them to dry. But um, you could use a blow dryer or whatever. Once it's dry, just fold it over, and it'll have some wrinkles, and I don't know, I think that's okay. It's up to you. You also only have to do one side, 
but if you let the kids do it, they'll want to do more than one side. You can leave it the color that it is, or I got these really cool itsy bitsy rubber stamps from Martha Stewart. And other than the fact that we're using, uh, my grandson and I are going to make them for his Valentine's, I was like, what am I going to use these little, well, I've got a few things up my sleeve that you can check out later this week on that blog, my blog just painted. But for here, um, I'm going to stamp it. Now, some of you paper crafters and um, creatives have all kinds of inks and stuff. I don't. I have this nifty one thing red one thing black right so that's about as creative as I get with stamps so I thought well just red okay well it'll be cute we'll we'll just do the red so um, and it is other than the do you like the little black part that was the grandson he was experimenting okay so just stamp it on there no big deal you can't even see it can you it's a rubber stamp trust me okay just a little heart right there. But a while back, I discovered, and I do like these little, you can just go crazy with them. You could do stickers, um, you know, that kids are great with. I actually, Martha has this wonderful line of stickers. That's coming up later on my blog, too. I sound like an ad, and I don't mean to. I'm sorry. But I wanted to show you another thing. I have these markers that are water-based, and I found out quite by accident they're water-based. I wouldn't try this with a permanent marker um, just because I'm not sure what would happen. I haven't done that. But it definitely did work with um, Martha's cute little stamps. So all I did was I just, mind you, I'm without my glasses, so if I don't get the great, no talent needed here, okay? This is just inking up and then I put it right in the middle so you could see it but um, let's do another one and again water based markers I cannot stress that enough now to be perfectly honest with you I did try a little paint with my rubber stamps and that worked too so you have options. You can do ink. You can do a little paint. With the kids, I'd be a little careful because I would have a feeling that some might dry up and then you wouldn't be able to use rubber stamp too much anymore. Maybe there's a way to clean it. I don't know. I just like, you know, keeping my little stamps nice and neat. And they're real, I mean, there's 12 different stamps for Valentine's. So you could just go to town, which I, I am. I'm making something else. So, but along with our bunting, now, once you've got that done at the dollar store, so I got the coffee filters at the dollar store, I got the ribbon at the dollar store, and then I found the little um, heart doilies, and they come in a pack for, I don't know, I mean, they come for a dollar, but I don't know how many you get in a pack, a lot, okay? So then all I did was fold it over, and then with a little glue, you can use um, Elmer's glue, white glue, craft glue, glue gun not around the kids but you know you can okay so then I just glued that on there and then not to be done since it is Valentine's Day um, I wanted a little bit of the red and the turquoise combining so I did a pink glitter heart that is at the dollar store and then the red well then I needed something turquoise so we just did a little turquoise glitter and put those on. Oops, that's wrong. Okay. So you glue those all on. Okay. And then you've got a little sparkle. The kids have helped. Real simple, really inexpensive. Um, and let me show you how I put it together. It's just like the hardest thing in the world. And I'm just kidding. Okay. I just clipped one in here. And granted, okay, this is my work, my work board. So if you're doing um, wherever you hang your bunting on a wall, over a mirror, um, believe I've kind of gone bunting bats this week. I think that's what I will call myself this week. I'm bunting bats. So I even did it once. I did the turquoise and red ribbon, and that was that was pretty cute. Okay, so I lost all my little 
thing. So I'm going down into my secret storage, also known as my floor. And then now, if you want, once you get it situated, you could certainly tack it with a little bit of glue here and there, okay? In fact, I'd probably recommend that because if your children are like my grandson, they like to investigate and they like to help and they like to decorate. So maybe a little glue would be a kind of good idea. But anyway, and you don't even, I mean, if you get your ribbon all nice and neat, that's great too. But I just wanted to show you how truly simple it is. Other than the drying time, for the paint and the glue, you're talking minutes. Let your kids go wild. Have fun decorating for Halloween. Halloween. Valentine's Day. Where's my head? And before you leave tonight, I want you to check out craftyhangouts.com. Crafty, C-R-A-F-T-Y, hangouts.com. Hangouts like Google Hangouts. Because there's a whole week full of Valentine's ideas from my other blogger friends. And then stop by the blog, Just Paint It, and check out some other things that I've got going for Valentine's Day. Have a great evening, and we'll see you soon. Bye.